So this settings, now we are ready to perform our first migration, which will create tables inside the database. I'll go to the terminal, I'll go to the Instagram API project, and there I'll use pymanage.py make migrations. If there would be any error inside our project, then this command will also show us that uh, we cannot migrate because there is some error. Okay, the user model has been created. Now I'm going to actually migrate it. So there is no error and uh, our tables have been created inside the database. Let me check. Go here inside the databases, it's around one. And yes, it is showing all the tables, which means that our database configuration is okay. Now I'm going to check the Django admin panel. It is the Django admin panel. Before that, we have to run the app. I forgot that thing. py manage py run server. Server has been running on this. So it is saying you can access these type of URLs. Okay. So I need a super user to access the Django admin panel. How can I do that? I'll again go to the terminal. I'm going to remove it. I'm terminating the server. I'm going to the terminal. CD Instagram API. There I'm going to by image dot create super user. So I am writing the email to which I'm going to uh, you can say use it as a super user so it is asking for the first name just like the model which we have defined and it is asking for the password and it is asking for the password again it is saying that uh, user manager object has no attribute create super user so we will go into the model where we have created the user manager. Here we will define how to create the super user method that will be create super user. It will take an email, password, and extra fields in the extra fields i will set the default attributes for example if there is is active attribute just like we have defined here in the user then it should be true here we have defined it as false that we will activate the user after sending the link but for the super user it must be active so similarly for the extra field I'm going to that default value staff true and now I'll set the default value of is super user. That will also be true. Now I'll check some value errors that whether and we will get is active field.
and it is not true then it must raise a value error saying super user must be active similarly if extra fuel should get basically apart from email and password everything other than these two will be considered in extra fields so i am picking the value of extra field and setting the default value with the other value like if it is false then i am making it true and i am checking it here is stuff is not true then what will happen will raise value error and uh, what i will say super user super user must stop similarly in the extra fields it will take the value of is super user and if it is not true then it will raise the value error and it will say super user must is let's go super user equal to true so after checking all these it will return and create a user through this method which we have defined here so it will create a user and what it is going to take it will take email it will take password and it will take extra fields i am going to migrate again i need to make migration py dot py migrate okay now i am going to create super user i'm going to give the email id i'm going to give first name second name password retype password and super user has been created successfully i am going to run the server server is running going into the admin and the password is already stored previously while checking yes we are now in the admin panel of jango i'm going to check yes the user has been created with the first name last name and it is also active so it is admin panel just like we defined in admin.py whenever a object of user model will be created it will be shown these fields will be shown in the django admin panel let's see whether these are showing id number 4 first name last name and email all these fields are showing in the admin panel and the purpose of admin.py was to register the user model in this admin panel if you will not register any model in the admin.py then it will not be depicted in the django admin panel